It's what we've come to expect. For the past four years, the X Factor winner single, released just in time for Christmas, has always gone straight to number one. But for the first time ever, the show's grip on the coveted top spot could be in jeopardy. And this is the threat. It's not the most festive of songs, but Rage Against the Machine's Killing in the Name is currently outselling X Factor winner Joe McKeldery's The Climb. And it's all thanks to a fan-led internet campaign that Simon Cowell has branded stupid. But there are other contenders. After notching up over 10 million hits on YouTube, The Muppets released as a single their cover of the Queen classic Bohemian Rhapsody. Kermit and Miss Piggy seem to be pretty confident. If we, if we should get this number one thing, we're going to do We Are The Champions. It's inevitable. Actually, uh, and, you know, the, the competition is, is pretty weak this year. Why? I mean, we're, we're talking about, who, who's this guy, Joe McElderberry? I can guarantee you that I can take him in a fight. But what do the punters think? Who would you like to see? Uh, <laughs> not, the not the X Factor one, yeah. Did you know there was a campaign? You can go and buy Killing in the Name. Oh my god, okay. Maybe they should go number one then. The Muppets have released a song that could be in the running. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they've done a cover of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Would you like to see Kermit and Miss Piggy at number one? Definitely, yeah. That'd be, that'd be brilliant. In terms of record sales, it's one of the busiest times of the year and what people buy this week will ultimately determine who will be the Christmas number one. And that means it could be Joe McKeldery after all. Physical copies of the single have now gone on sale and the latest figures show Killing in the Name, which was only released on a digital format, is losing its lead. We'll know who is triumphant come the weekend.